an enclave of rich natural resources, lies south of the Philippines. Highly fertile land. Abundant waters. Marvelous destinations. But despite its vast resources, the areas are some of the country's poorest. Decades of armed conflict discouraged the entry of private and public investments. Ang barangay na Rapu ay meron po tayong kabuang 355 household at 3,000 plus na population. At ang kinabuhay po ng mga tao dito ay sa pamamagitan ng pagsasaka at pangingisda. Ang kailangan po dito, tao dito, yung kalsada kasi tuwing malakas ang ulan, nasisira yung mga daan na lulubog lahat ng palay dito sa amin. Sa education naman, from kinder to grade 6, tatlong guru lang yung nagtuturo sa amin. O, kung may pinapanding, talagang maayangat natin yung kabuhayan dito sa aming barangay. The farmers of the Bangsamoro people, have difficulty to access their mark in, in the market. There should be massive infrastructure on uh, connectivity, especially farm-to-market road. But the good news is, things are starting to change for the better. With genuine peace, good quality of life should be within reach. The conflict is really founded on uh, a sense of identity of a segment of our population who feel that uh, they have been marginalized by the dominant segments of society and politics. So we're hoping that with this uh, peace agreement, when you have stability, when there is no more fighting, then everybody can focus on uh, the things that are really important to them. Be able to go to school for the children, to have jobs, to be economically productive, and also practice their ways of life. It's a welcome development for us, but especially in the academy. Yeah, we, we see it as a uh, positive move towards uh, development uh, and uh, also in terms of peace. Genuine desire for change and belief in the success of the peace accord are shared by the Aquino administration and the Bangsamoro leadership. Unang-una kailangan ng Bangsamoro gobyerno. Gobyerno na meron sapat na makas para i-improve at pauna rin ang kabuhayan ng Bangsamoro. Gusto namin makita in the future. Bawat isa sa kanila nakapag-aral yung kanina mga anak at uh, makapagtapos ng pag-aaral, maging doktor sila, uh, engineer, uh, abogado, at makaproduce sila ng, ng scientist. At uh, yung lugar ng Bangsamoro, uh, ma-develop yung mga lupa. Kasi ngayon, ang mga lupa ngayon nakatiwangwang. Walang, walang production. Right after signing of uh, framework agreement on Bangsamoro, the MLF leadership the feel we will uh, come to the situation that uh, the political uh, aspiration of the Bangsamoro will be realized. The Bangsamoro basic law has important uh, features that would allow for fiscal autonomy to really be operationalized. Uh, the Bangsamoro government will involve uh, various uh, taxing powers. And also, the gover national central government commits to uh, significant budgetary transfers that will allow the Bangsamoro government to be able to really take off fast. Malapit na ang panahon na kapag may dayuhang bibisita sa Pilipinas kasama ang mga nanawigan ng Bangsamoro sa listahan na kanyang pupuntahan. 
Malapit na ang panahon na ang gusto magbakasyon sa pagudpod, pwede rin sa salumog punta. Magiging pareho ang kalaman na kabataan papasok sa eskwela sa Quezon City man o sa Lamitan. Magpa-ospital ka man sa Pasig o sa Patikul, magagamot ang iyong karamdaman. Lalago ang iyong negoso sa Marikina o sa Marawi ka man mamuhunan. With peace comes hope that finally the economic potentials of the Bangsamoro land will be unleashed. Kung tingnan, malawak pa ang Bangsamoro. Marami pang potensyal na negosyo na pwede itayo. So, yun na, inikaya natin ang mga negosyante, sa local man or sa foreign, na mag-invest dito para matulungan din ang Bangsamoro, magkaroon ng employment. Ito po na ang lugar ng Bangsamoro mayaman. Mayaman. Dito nang gagaling sa amin ng copra, coffee beans, saging, yung short crops, palay, corn, at mineral deposits. Lahat ng klase ng mina meron kami. Abundant resources and strategic location give Bangsamoro areas the potential to become a major food source for the Philippines and neighboring countries. The only foodie uh, began in the Philippines in uh, 1992 when uh, our Italian investors were looking for banana plantations. And since that time, our banana operations have expanded. And this is in the provinces of uh, Baja Oriental, Compostela Valley, Nivao del Norte, Nivao City, Nivao del Sur, and Bukit Nun. And also the two provinces of the Arm, Bangsamoro, Today we export between 30 and 35 million boxes of bananas and pineapples. And these are going out to major markets, are Japan, Korea, Iran, the Gulf states, a little bit to China. There's no question that Mindanao is a uh, frontier land. It's a land of promise. I think it's a land of promise for food production. The land of the Bangsamoro boasts of natural attractions, reason why the potential for tourism is high. We consider tourism industry as crucial or important investment in the Bangsamoro area. So we need some infrastructure to develop our tourism. With the Philippines' robustly growing economy, there is dire need for more energy supply. With its vast resources, Bangsamoro areas have the potential to help meet rising energy demand. Bangsamoro areas are very rich in uh, the source of energy. Uh, in part, in, uh, the, the Lano Lake is a 50% of electric power came from that uh, area. What I understand is that with the power plants that are presently going up right now, I think the forecast is by 2016 or 17, Mindanao will have a surplus of power. But I think we're going in the right direction. The Aquino administration pours huge investments in Bangsamoro areas with the aim of improving socio-economic condition of the residents. We instituted Sajahatra Bangsamoro which has allowed uh, for the delivery of basic services in areas that have been previously affected by the conflict. So ngayon po, nag-conduct po tayo ng mass distribution and orientation po um, sa ating field health beneficiary ng Sajahatra Bangsamoro program. So itong activity po na ito ay para mas lalong malaman ng mga beneficiaries natin sa field health ang kahalagahan at importansya uh, ng mga benefits po, hindi lang po sa pagpapospital, hanggang po sa primary care benefit package na kanilang matatamasa. So kapag ikaw po ay nasa government hospital, hindi po privado yung iyong doktor, pwede kang maka-beneficyo ng no-balance billing. Ibig sabihin po, wala po kayong mababayaran sa hospital ni isang kusi. Masabi ko lang malaking bagay nito na ito yung sa Bangsamoro, especially yung mga Bangsamoro na na mahihirap kasi yung pag-anak ng asawa ko, nagamit ko po yung pre-heart na sa Gihatra, so 
malaking tulong sa akin kasi lahat ng yung build ko almost na cover niya. Development partners also help uplift lives of the Bangsamoro people. Infrastructure projects and technical assistance are meant to boost incomes. Pinag-seminar kami ng 3 days. Marami kaming natutunan sa pagtahi ng net at sa paggawa ng kawayan at saka yung tulay. Tinuro yan sa lahat. Ang isda dyan, tilapia. At saka yung, ang tawag nila doon sa panabuk, kingfish, yung red tilapia. Little by little, I understand what is the significance of the aquaculture. That's one of, I appreciate the JICA. As well as the BDE. They are always visiting us, twice a week. Actually, last July, That's our first harvest. We harvest more than 30,000. But despite the investments poured so far, much more needs to be done to help Bangsamoro communities catch up with the rest of the country. Under the Bangsamoro Development Plan, billions of pesos worth of development projects and programs are proposed. Some of the biggest components of the plan are farm to market, access and circumferential roads, support for micro and small businesses, mobilization of more education workers. With enough support, the plan is expected to help realize the vision of a good quality of life for the Bangsamoro people. With peace, hopes are now high that Bangsamoro communities will enjoy more investments, more opportunities, that soon the needs of the people will be adequately met. Pag nakita ng mga negosyante na wala ng gulo, maalis ng takot nila. So, maingganyo natin sila mag-invest dito sa atin. Right now, we have uh, uh, investors, both local and foreign, who are interested in investing. This is even before the BBL is passed. In other words, it's on the province in the past. So with the DBL, you know, of course, it's a very, very big encouragement. It will really bring in big investments. And those are investments that are triggers, you know, the triggers for uh, job creation. With help from government, development partners, private sector, and other stakeholders, hopes for the Bangsamoro will turn into reality. Toward lasting peace and prosperity in the Bangsamoro land.